What's going on guys? Lone Driver Mike again, bringing you guys another video. Guys, what's going on? Before I get into the video guys, I need to tell you how to support my channel. There are three ways you can support my channel. One, you can donate to my Patreon. It's in the link below. Two, you can actually watch the ads, let them, let them run all the way through, and or if they interest you, you can click on them, buy the product or whatever they're advertising on the on the ads or whatever and three you could actually share the videos so to get me no more views and whatnot so anyways with that being said we're gonna get into the video so in this video we're gonna talk about DoorDash and customers not updating their number and also blocking the freaking DoorDash number and, you know it just makes my job my job I mean my job isn't difficult but you know what I gotta get your guys' fucking food, alright? I accept the order, I gotta go to the restaurant. Sometimes I gotta sometimes I gotta place the order. Sometimes I gotta pay with the red card. Sometimes I get there, it's not ready. I gotta wait for the damn order until it's ready, right? I gotta find parking. You know, it's 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 easy, but for the most part, there's still different steps that I gotta do to get your order and pick it up put it in my hot bag and you know and then I still have to drive to you to you to your address right so you know what I get it I understand you know but with all due respect it's like if I'm delivering your food why in God's name are you blocking our number why are you blocking the DoorDash number or the Grubhub number actually the, I've never had a Grubhub customer block the Grubhub num number um the only problem I've had is with DoorDash customers. It's always with fucking DoorDash customers. And I don't know what it is. And I think DoorDash just allows this to happen. They just allow it to happen. Right? They don't stick up for the drivers. You know, they don't fucking... Uh, you know, and uh, there shouldn't be an option to where the customer is allowed to block a delivery service that they're using... To deliver their own food that they ordered for delivery. Why in the hell is that even a possibility? You know, last night I, I, I get an order, you know, and I'm texting the guy. says, oh, messages is blocked. I call him and it doesn't go through. So he blocks the DoorDash number. And then I see on the note that it says... <sighs> It says call my number and it has his number posted. Now the reason why we're not supposed to do that is because it's personal information. Let's say hypothetically I forgot your drink and you're drunk that night, right? Let's say hypothetically and you actually do get my real number. You start harassing me and blowing up my phone over a drink, right? And I already dropped it off and hours go by and you're still calling me harassing me. Okay, that's when it becomes a, a, a criminal, and a, that's when it becomes a criminal thing. Once you start harassing someone, and you know, it's like I get it. I forgot your drink, or let's say uh, there was a, something missing in the in the, you know, the order was made wrong. Whatever, hypothetically, man. You know, these restaurants are supposed to get your order anyways. So anything missing, it's it's on them, man. I don't care. Like we got a lot going on. Basically, our jobs is to do go from point A to point B. You know, as far as checking the food goes, it's like a lot of times the food stapled or it's in a bag. We're not we're not food handlers. We're not supposed to open the bags and shit. So you know, when DoorDash is calling me or Grubhub's calling me asking me, well, see, Grubhub's cool about it. When they call me, they're like, oh, uh, an item was missing. We're not blaming you, but can you check your car and see if if it fell out of the bag or something? Right, so okay, so I do check the card and I say, No, it's not here. The restaurant must have forgot. There's like, Okay, no problem, nope, no, not a big deal. Have a good day, and that's it. So, I like the way that Grubhub approaches it because they don't put the blame on the driver. Because technically, we're not supposed to check well, we're supposed to check in a certain way. If it's if the bag stapled, we're not supposed to be touching the food or counting the items. I mean, we can kind of take a look. But we're really not supposed to open the bag, unstaple, take the staples out, take the tag, the sticker off. We're not supposed to do all that. So technically, 
if you want to get real technical, we're not supposed to check all that shit because by law, at least in California, you're, we're not food handlers. We're not supposed to actually touch the food or and or prepare the food anyway. Like we're not even supposed to get the drinks. I've actually made a separate video about this topic also just on drinks. So not only are we supposed to not, you know, touch the food or, or check the items or open the bags, we're not even supposed to help prepare the order in any way, shape, or form. It's against health code violation, right? We're not going to say, oh, get the drink. We're not supposed to do that. We can get in big-ass trouble for that. So, you know, but anyways, so I'm just saying, guys, you know, why on earth would you block the number to have your food delivered? Like... It makes no sense at all, you know. So anyways, that's why DoorDash and Grubhub and Postmates and Uber Eats, Caviar, they screen our numbers so that our information is protected. Our personal number, I don't want my personal number out there. I mean, I don't really necessarily care too much because it's like it's delivery, it's whatever. But what if I get a psycho that is so mad at me, right? gets my number gets my real number because i call them from my real number and not from the screen number now if we if we if we go on the app and we do doordash or grubhub or postmates or caviar or uber eats and we click the call customer button <coughs> it actually screens our number it changes our number to a different number like if we if i were to do like say postmates or caviar my number would turn into a 415 area code number. That's San Francisco. It's If it's DoorDash, it would turn into a 650. That's like San Mateo, basically the same area, Bay, Bay Area, California. Um, with, if it's with Grubhub, it actually my number actually turns into a 312. That's actually Chicago. So um, Grubhub is, is based out of Chicago. And with Uber Eats, it's actually it's done on the app. So... I forget what number pops up, but but anyways, yeah. So these companies screen our numbers for a reason, right? Because they don't want us getting our personal information out there to the customers, and they also want to protect the customers' information as well. That's protect. That's to protect because you just give me your number. That's fine. I can be mad at you because you didn't tip me or you didn't rate me good or something and I found out that, oh, this guy didn't tip. So then I can actually harass you. I'm not going to do that. But I'm saying you should not be posting your personal number to your delivery driver and or, you know, us drivers should not be giving giving out our number to where we have to call them, get off the app and physically go on our phone and call them because then that reveals to the customer our real number. And so some customers don't care, but you guys should care because that's your own personal information. I'm not going to do anything because I'm not a, I don't get revenge. I'm not a vindictive guy. I don't, I don't care about that. You know, I do my delivery. I drop it off. I'm done with whether you tip me or not, whether you rate me good or not. I don't give a damn about that, you know, because I got to end up doing about 20 to 30 orders a day to even make my goal. So I, I don't worry about nobody or, or the deliveries. I don't worry about the pass. Once it's done with, I'm done with. You know what I'm saying? So what you guys got to realize is when you block the delivery service number, that makes our job harder. Not only do we have to go park, pick up the order, wait for the order, pick it up, put it in our hot bag, navigate or whatever, find our car, go back to our car, and go navigate to your house and we get there we're trying to contact you update you we're trying to knock on your door you're not answering or let's say hypothetically there's a big dog or there's a gate of some kind and I can't I don't know the code you didn't provide me the code and uh, I don't blame you some people do some people give the, the code for the apartment some people don't some some customers prefer the driver to wait outside and, and it is it is what it is but be prepared because when I, when I do DoorDash, I'm actually, the app updates the customer. It updates me when the restaurant gets the food, when the restaurant picks up the or, or when the driver picks up the order, and when the driver's on the way. So I'm thinking in my mind, how are these customers not paying attention to their phone? Because when I, 
I can't remember one time where I didn't actually meet the driver outside. Now, they don't have to meet me. I don't have to meet them outside. They can actually come up to my door like they're supposed to and knock on the door. But at the same time, it's like, I just want to make it easier for the driver. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when, he's almost, when he or she's almost to my door, I'm like, oh, okay, they're approaching or whatever. It gives you enough it gives you enough time to actually get notified, go downstairs, finish what you're doing, and go outside and wait for the driver. It gives you plenty of time. So it mind bottles me that these people are ordering delivery or whatever, and it notifies the cust it notifies these customers because I've ordered as a customer as well. So I know the app works like it's supposed to. All these apps work all these apps work like it's supposed to. It notifies the customer every step of the way. So there's no there's no excuse. So when customers tell me, oh, it didn't tell me nothing, they're lying. They're lying out of their ass. You know, every time I've ordered through Grubhub or DoorDash, Caviar, Uber Eats, it always updates me. Oh, the restaurant got your order. Oh, the driver arrived at the restaurant. They're waiting for the order. Oh, the, the driver picked up your order. They're on the way. Oh, they're almost to your house. It updates the customer every step of the way. So when a customer tells me, oh, sorry, blah, 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 the phone was messed up or the app wasn't going off, they're full of shit. They're just full of shit. Don't believe the customer when they say that. I mean, you don't have to call them out on it, but they're they're full of shit. They're, they're lying. It, it's, it's, they're, they're straight up lying because I've known from personal experience that it updates the customer every step of the way. So when I get to your house, I kind of expect you to be somewhat prepared that I'm on the way especially if you have a big dog put your dog away I've had many personal friends of mine got attacked by dogs and it's like you know you as a dog owner should know better than that if you know your dog is not even is not even friendly around people or delivery drivers put your dog in the backyard temporarily oh but that's my baby okay yeah and if your dog fucking bites me attacks me I'm suing your ass and this happened to my friend uh, Clinton. A dog attacked him, and animal services had to get involved, and they had to go take her dog away. You know, it's the law. Like, if your dog attacks somebody, they have to vaccinate it, or they have to, I think they call it quarantine. They have to quarantine the dog, see if it's, if it's a danger, blah, blah, blah. And they physically take the dog away. So, you know what? Do this for your... For your own dog's sake, because you know what, I, I'm sure you guys don't care about the delivery drivers, and that's fine. But you talk, you attack me or my friends or something, and your do your dog attacks me. No, you, your dog is gonna be probably not put down, but it will be taken away from you. You know, because that's the law. That's that's how it is. You know, I have to go to the hospital. They have to report it to the animal control services. They have to get the address. I'm serious. That's just the law. I can't. I can't control that. So, anyways, I get there and I'm texting the guy, calling the guy. He blocks the number, and I'm like, "Shit, what the hell, man?" And so I see on the app it says, "Oh, call this number to, to you know." And it's like, if I call that number, that means it's gonna reveal my personal number, and I don't want to do that. But I did it anyways. But you know, it's just like, you guys should not be blocking the number. It doesn't make any sense. And then also when you guys don't even, when you're not even prepared, why are you guys not prepared? The, the app is telling you every step of the way that I'm coming and that your food is, has been picked up from the restaurant and that I'm on the way. And then when I'm actually there, it actually updates you again. It says, oh, he's here now. Your driver's here. Meet him at the door. And you guys still don't meet me at the door. It's ridiculous, man. So I'm serious. So when, when you guys are doing deliveries, Make sure you don't block the number and or update the number. I actually, last night, the person that I delivered to last night, it was a different customer. It was another DoorDash customer. It's always with DoorDash. I don't understand this. You got some weird people with DoorDash, man. I, I'm telling you right now. Anyways, so I get to the house. I'm knocking. I'm knocking, ringing on the door. The house, I, was at the, I was at the correct house calling the customer, texting the customer. I start the timer. I'm like, man, whatever. So now with DoorDash, they tell us to leave the door, leave the food at the front door, which is not a big deal to me. So I leave the food at the front door. I text the customer, food's at the front door. 
I ring and knock again. You know, the lights are on, but no one's... So I don't know what's going on. So I leave, I take off. I've confirmed that it's... I left at the front door. And then like an hour later, they're like, Oh, bro, sorry. I told you how many times that this is not the number. You got the wrong number. I'm like, dude, I'm a DoorDash driver, okay? The customer, I already dropped off the food. It's done with. But if this really concerns you, you need to call DoorDash yourself and tell them, this customer, this is... I did not order food last night. So whoever ordered last night did not change their number. This is my number. I keep getting text messages from you guys, but I didn't order the food. So whoever whoever's phone number is associated with this with this account, with this with this customer with you guys, you need to tell them to update the number cuz I keep getting harassed by the DoorDash drivers and I'm not the one to, I'm not I don't even do delivery. I don't even order DoorDash. So I told them you're going to have to contact DoorDash. This is not my problem. Right? If you guys can't update your number and you're blocking us and shit, and that's not my problem. That's your own problem. Be responsible, right? Put your dog in the backyard. Be prepared. Update your phone number. Update your address. Because this is ridiculous. You guys are grown grown ass men and women. Some people are in their 40s and 50s and they don't even know how to update their information. And be responsible and put their dog in the backyard and you know, meet the driver outside. I mean, you don't even have to come outside. Just be prepared. Like, oh, he's on the way. Be in the living room. Be ready when I knock on the door or ring on the doorbell. Listen and, and be alert and be aware that I'm on the way and I'm coming to your house. And I'm over there sitting there, knocking, ringing on the doorbell, calling you up, and then saying, oh, this number is blocked. You've been blocked. I'm like, why would you guys do that? So just be responsible. If you, if you're going to order delivery, I'm just telling you guys, make it easy for yourself and for the drivers too. Have some respect. Be a responsible person, man. Because, you know, you, you know you're know, you a grown-ass man. You're a grown-ass woman, supposedly. And you can't even update your number. You can't update your address. You know, and you're over here blocking our number. It's like, why would you do that? You're not prepared. Oh, I'm in the shower. I mean, sometimes I'm too early. Like, one time I was really early with Grubhub. So that wasn't her fault. Because the app said I was going to be there at a certain time. I was like 20 minutes early. So it's like, you know. So it was fine. I didn't have to wait that long. She actually came outside in a towel, you know, which, you know, she looked good. But anyways, you know, I wasn't, I'm never unprofessional when it comes to that. But, you know, she was in a towel running out. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's fine. I'm, I'm sorry, too. I didn't know I was this early. She's like, yeah, you're like 20 minutes early. I'm like, I, I, I apologize. Seriously. So I don't mind in that circumstances, if I'm super early, like on Grubhub or DoorDash, usually DoorDash, I'm never early. It's always barely on time. They're always messed up with fucking DoorDash, man. They're always messed up with the time frames. You know, it's, uh... but anyways, with Grubhub, sometimes I'm early. So I understand that in that circumstances, I don't mind waiting and stuff like that. If I'm too early, you know, it is what it is. But if you know I'm on the way and it's updating you and... I'm going to be barely on time to the delivery time and you're still not prepared and updated and you're not, you know, and then your dog is trying to attack me. It's like, what the fuck? You guys, man, I'm telling you, you know, because your dog attacks me, man, I'm reporting that shit. I, I don't care. I don't care. Like, I don't care. You need to be a responsible adult. Put your dog away. Have your phone available. Turn up the volume. Maybe some, some people have their phone on, on silent. It's like, that's not my fault. Have your phone on, on loud. Be prepared because you ordered food. You ordered your lunch or you ordered your dinner. Be prepared to receive the order because I'm on the way. And it updates the customer every step of the way. Put your dog in the fucking backyard. Be responsible. And be prepared to receive the order. And that's it. Whether you tipped or not. Whether you rate it or good or not, I don't really give a fuck about all that. I just don't care. I'm my own boss. I do what I want to do. I don't really care. Just what really pisses me off is when you block our number or you change your number, you don't update your number, you know, you're not prepared, you don't answer the door, your dog's barking, almost attacks me and bites me in the hand. That's what pisses me off. When you guys are irresponsible adults, you order delivery, you're not prepared, and, you know... You change your number, you won't update your number, you block our number. You know, 
that's not, nah, dude, it's not cool with me. So anyways, if you're ordering delivery, just be prepared, man. Have your number updated, have your address updated, and if you have a fucking dog, put it in the backyard just for 10 minutes, man. It's not going to kill your dog, seriously. So anyways, guys, please, uh, thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for your support, and until next time, that's it. That's all I've got to say. All right, guys, peace out. See you.